Hello, my amazing, beautiful biohacking friends. It's time for another installment of this personal growth series, How to Change Your Life. And as we're continuing this journey, every lesson is gonna build upon the last. So now this lesson, the last one we talked about is the growth mindset. What can I learn from this? What is this trying to teach me? Now we're going to apply that. All right, so we're taking massive action. So how do you take massive action and still be in a growth mindset? Well, it's simple. You work smarter, not harder. I learned this philosophy from my college football coach and it just totally made sense to me. So what we're gonna do now is now that we've taken massive action, we're learning through this process, we're getting better, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to refine the working process, guys. You know, I use the analogy of the gym. If I constantly just go in the gym and beat myself down every single day, just grinding, working the same routine, the same thing every single day, Am I gonna make the most progress possible? No, I'm just gonna be beating down my body. I'm not gonna be learning what works for my body. Guys, if you keep doing the same things and getting the same results, but you're driving yourself crazy, like something should click and they're like, okay, I might need to change something. And I hate this whole like culture we're living right now. Just hustle, just hustle, just hustle. No, sometimes just hustling is stupid advice. Sometimes you actually have to change your hustle. And think about this too, guys. Why would you keep taking these little baby steps forward if you could just go, you know what, let me take a step back. Now let me take a leap forward. Makes sense, right? Let's think about how we're going through this process. Let's make sure that as we're taking massive action, we're taking the steps in the right direction. That's the biggest thing that I think separates entrepreneurs from people who just work hard. Okay, success is taking smart, defined actions towards your goal. All right, just like a GPS. You wouldn't just get in your car and drive to a destination without knowing where the hell you're going, right? You're gonna put an endpoint in that GPS and then how many times have you been in a GPS and it's rerouted you? All right, I use Waze, I freaking love Waze. I wish everybody would use Waze so we can put all the little cops in along the way. Different story for a different day. But when I put Waze, when I put a destination in my Waze and I'm driving and it detects traffic, it's gonna reroute me around the traffic to the fastest route to get there. It's the same thing you gotta do in your business. It's the same thing you gotta do in your personal life. Well, I'm on this path, okay, something happened. I need to learn from this, reroute, and keep going forward, okay? Just because you have a detour does not mean you need to stop. It just means you have to work smarter, not harder at that point. Why would you just try to push the traffic down the road? Like, it's not gonna work, all right? You don't have, you're not freaking the monster trucks, run over cars, it's not gonna work. Let's think through the process. Let's work smarter, not harder not slowing down. I think that's the big thing people miss in this equation is they start thinking overthinking and they suffer from paralysis by analysis. That's not how this works, guys. You keep moving forward. You keep that momentum going, but the whole time, like, okay, I've taken the step. What can I learn from this? I've taken the step. What can I learn from this? And as you're going on that journey, you keep refining the process. That way, as you're moving forward, you're going down the path with the highest probability, the highest chance of your success. You're not just going down the path and hoping that it works. Work smarter, not harder. Put the growth mindset into your massive plan of action. That's how you get successful, guys. Let's condense those time frames. Success loves speed, which we're gonna talk about later. But guys, that's my lesson for today. Work smarter, not harder. It's not about the hustle. It is about you working smarter, not harder. Love you guys.